And now, one American family grappling with a medical scare tonight. The Bidens, Vice President Joe Biden and his son, 44-year-old Beau. The son undergoing tests at a leading cancer center hospital in Houston after an incident, he said, of disorientation and weakness. Late today, the vice president himself said Bo will be heading home. ABC's White House correspondent Jim Avila has the latest on that. Bo Biden was last seen in public Monday night, eating dinner with his vice president father, Joe, near the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. Late this afternoon, a vague statement from the vice president and his wife, yesterday our son Bo underwent a successful procedure. He is in great shape and is going to be discharged and heading home to Delaware. Monday, his office said, the younger Biden was undergoing tests after feeling weak and disoriented. Biden narrowly escaped death as a child during a terrible traffic accident that killed his mother and sister. Then he suffered a stroke three years ago and just this month emergency vehicles dispatched to his Delaware home after a 911 call mentioned stroke again. Vice President Biden had a brain aneurysm himself at age 35. Tonight, he's with his son. The president called Joe Biden to wish his son well, but the only word from Bo himself came on his Twitter account. Quote, touched by all your well wishes, thank you. Jim Avila, ABC News, the White House. And now I want to bring in ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser. Rich, disorientation and weakness were the symptoms? Yeah, I mean, when you hear those symptoms, you don't want to ignore them because so many things can cause that. Everything from a seizure to a medication problem, a stroke. And when you hear someone at a cancer hospital, you have to also include something in your head, a brain tumor. Which could be benign or malignant, could be either exactly. one. Exactly. And he's 44 years old. Yeah, I mean, you hear a young age and you think you couldn't have a stroke, but more than 70,000 people of that age have a stroke every year. It's hard to know at this point w what the crisis is they're dealing with, but our hearts have to go out to them and, and, and what they're coping with. Certainly do. Thank you again. Rich Besser.